So number 24 for my question in paper one of the old hire, 2015, the last time around, find the value of k such that this has got real roots. Well, that's a discriminant then. So we'll just make that statement. Real roots means that b squared minus 4ac should be greater than or equal to zero. Because it's still real roots if there's only the one equal pair. So what are the bits then? So b is the coefficient of x, so that'll be that 3 squared minus 4 times a is the coefficient of x squared. And c is this part at the end. This absolute coefficient, the constant. That should be greater than or equal to zero. Now you have to watch now because you're going to have an inequation here, inequality. So that's going to be 4 nines are 36, k squared is greater than or equal to zero. Now you can safely divide that by 9, because I'm not interested in preserving the value of that expression. But if you feel threatened into keeping it, I'll just leave it in there just now. That's 1 minus 4k squared is greater than or equal to 0. Then, one thing you shouldn't do though, of course, is just swap sides when it's anything more than just a linear term. Don't write 9 is greater than or equal to 36k and then do the square root and have it less than or equal to plus or minus. No, if it's anything other than the linear term, keep it all over to one side and factorise it solely that you can interpret the picture, the graph of the answers. So I'm actually going to factorise this. That'll be 1 minus 2k, 1 plus 2k. And the reason for that is I want to know when this expression here, or a ninth of it, it's the same thing, is greater than or equal to 0. So this says when k is a half, and this says when k is negative a half, it would be equal to zero. So drawing this graph, which is the one I've used, I've not changed the signs around, I could have flipped the signs over. This is an upside down parabola, so it looks like this. So when is it equal to zero? Those points are included. When is it greater than zero? This is the part greater. So it's in between these two values and including them. So that means the answer is k can be less than or equal to a half or greater than or equal to negative a half.